Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogs and Frogs. My name's Ryan Peterson, for those of you who don't know, and I'm ecstatic right now, and that's because we're out here at this little cave thing right here, as you can see, and it flows into this nice waterfall. Absolutely gorgeous. And by sheer luck, by sheer luck, I looked down in this water right here on the top, and we found a cave crayfish. Now, it is not molted or nothing. This is what it looks like. They don't have any color because they live in caves. If you look, they also don't have any eyes. They don't even have eyeballs. This is a cave crayfish. That's the coolest thing ever. They live in caves, so it's dark. They've learned. Oh, they've slowly evolved to not need eyes. It's more like light sensors, so they could kind of see some light one way. But otherwise, there's nothing. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely crazy? So, obviously, we're going to get into it. We're going to learn all about this cutie. So, yeah! Now, these ghosts are quite similar to other crayfish species. Breathes by pushing air through their special mouth parts, uses claws to catch and tear their food apart. They defend themselves with those same claws. They crawl forwards, but they do actually swim backwards, using their tail to propel them. They can propel themselves up to 50 feet in 3 seconds. They eat about the same, small amphibians, organic matter like poop or dead animals, small insects, and even other aquatic plants. So, let's talk more about why they are not so similar to these other species. As you can probably already tell, they're white. You can even say translucent. And also, they don't have any eyes. Now, these absolutely crazy adaptations take years and years to appear. They're not an overnight thing. So, as these various species of animals and caves have grown and gone through generation after generation, they began to adapt better to their environment by the ones who were better suited, lived on, and reproduced, passing those good genes along. There's usually not much light or any light at all in caves. So as time went on, crayfish with blindness could have had a better chance of survival, learning to see without really seeing, so then that would be normally be viewed as a mutation actually slowly evolved to become the more normal trait. This process has occurred with many different species of animals that live in caves, because it's not just crayfish. There are fish, salamanders, shrimps, spiders, snails. Ooh, there are oh so many. And the absence of eyes isn't the only adaptation. Lack of pigmentation is another. That's why they appear white and very ghost-like. They don't really need any protection from the sun when there's no sun. Cave life also allows these animals to slowly develop specialized organs for sensing the environment around them. Man, oh man, isn't that just so cool. Plus, they have others too. Due to there not being much water circulation or like photosynthesis from the sunlight getting to the plants and them converting it to energy, due to this not happening a lot within caves, the oxygen level within the water is actually going to be much, much lower than outside of the cave. So they develop many habits to help them with that issue, like swimming and exploring much slower, kind of in slow motion, to use less energy since there's less available energy. These crayfish also have a slower functioning metabolism, which helps them conserve heat energy and make it last a lot longer since the food can also be quite scarce in a closed cave system. Man. Oh man, I cannot believe. We were actually just out here hiking at this place called Buttermilk Falls and I just caught this little fella. I think when the heavy rainfall came through Brandenburg, Kentucky where this park was, it washed this little, little fella out of the cave. So we made sure to let him go back into his cave hiding hole. A magical experience and a once in a lifetime find. Pure luck and pure love. Thanks for watching guys. I gotta go relax now because this was awesome. Oh yeah.